All righty, we're back. It's Dave Vellante with you from HP Discover in Frankfurt. We're live. This is day two, the second day of theCUBE, where we bring you the best guests that we can find. We come to these events, we find the executives, the customers, the bloggers, the analysts. We try to extract the signal from the noise and present to you, our audience, what's happening at these events, our analysis, the news. And we're here with Patrick Osborne, who's with HP Storage. He's the Director of Product Management. Patrick, welcome. Thanks for having us here. Love the cube. <laughs> Glad you had us. Yeah, well, it's, it's great to be here. This is a big show for you guys. Huge. Uh, the storage, uh, everybody's talking about it. Yep. Even, even the guys in the other division are talking about the storage announcement. So it's clear that the enthusiasm that you guys have from Dave Scott you know, all the way down has really um, coming to fore. You know, so congratulations yep. on that. Thank I know you. you guys have worked hard on it. Storage is sexy. Storage is sexy, where have I heard that before? <laughs> <laughs> Actually my uh, colleague John Furrier uh, coined that in 2010 and asked that of a senior IT executive, but uh, at any rate, so we're here, you know, Store All is um, getting a lot of buzz. Uh, our David Floyer just wrote a piece on, uh, on Store All, so check that out on the, uh, on the wiki. But um, it's, a, it's a somewhat of a new play for HP. I mean, you've certainly been in the unstructured data mm -hmm. business for a while. You came out of Ibrix through, through acquisition. Yep. Ibrix is a company that focused on un unstructured data, a lot of file, but store is different, right? You're bringing together file and objects, so it's essentially Ibrix technology Correct. blended in with some other HP IP, right? Correct. Yeah, describe well, we, that. What we've done is we've taken some of the incredible investment from acquisition in Ibrix, Combine that with uh, some awesome technology from HP Labs. I think you guys talked with Alistair Veach earlier. Yeah, Express yeah. Query. Yep, so that, it, that was born in HP Labs. Their, their help was out with uh, solving really complex, you know, futuristic problems. So we took Express Query, that technology, as well as all the other great stuff from HP software and hardware, dense uh, servers, dense JBOD enclosures, put that all together for store all. And really what we're doing is helping customers solve problems around unstructured data big data, it's getting bigger, it's very unstructured, it's very different from some of the semi-structured and structured you know, solutions you see in the market like SAP HANA. This is for customers that are storing all types of digital media, unstructured content, social media, big data, uh, machine generated uh, unstructured files. So we're really trying to help customers to mitigate that huge avalanche of, uh, of data in their infrastructure. So We've seen a lot of um, integration of file and block. Correct. Right, well you guys are focusing on file and object. Yes. Talk about why you're going in that direction and essentially you're actually bringing file and block together on store serve with 3PAR, mm -hmm. right? So there's, there's that um, sort of two kind of unified combinations, one for primary, one for archive. Yes. Talk about the file and object relationship. Yeah, so from our perspective, I, I couldn't get through this without saying polymorphic, right? So mm -hmm. it, it, at the it's end, a hot new term. <laughs> hot new term. Um, so what we're doing is we're taking a lot from the end user perspective. Uh, you know, a file and an object is pretty much it's very similar, right? It's just how you access it and how you organize it. So file, NFS, SIFs. You've got a fully qualified path name, a very large directory structure. Sort of traditional, but now we have all these things around scale out, right? Scale out NAS that are helping you uh, mitigate that. Object storage, different access methodology, right? Very webby workload, you know, you access it over REST. Um, very easy from a programmatic standpoint for developers. Um, you have a bucket, limitless storage for all these objects. So they're kind of coming together, and what we find is customers don't want to have an infrastructure for file, an infrastructure for object. What we can do is provide the same thing, um, same file, same objects, uh, being accessed by you know different patterns. So is it correct that a lot of the guys that are doing are doing object today, and it's taken a while for object to really take off. Although yep. we all you know we use those of us who use Google Drive. I mean, you you go put it somewhere and then you yep. go get it back. Sure, uh, that's object. Uh, Amazon S3 obviously object store, but a lot of that opportunity lives today in, in obviously on structured data, but lives as you know, file storage. Correct. Right. Correct. So you guys, do you, you see the migration of that file to to object? Describe sort of that scenario. How long is it going to take? How are you going to facilitate that? Yeah. So uh, it's going to take some time, right? The the way that people consume that, you have a there's middleware that comes into the equation. There's uh, you know connectors for your desktop and your mobile applications. So for us, by building this um, technology as a base layer that you can use on premise or for example, we have a externally facing object storage service from hpcloud.com that you know, went GA in August. Uh, taking that approach with 
off-prem and on-prem, we're sort of establishing some of the base features and, and functionality and product that customers can put in their data center or subscribe to outside of their data center um, that's going to enable that shift. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be slow, but it's, it's, it's coming. Okay, now, um, in terms of your perspectives on big data, we've talked off camera about sure. this a lot, and uh, yeah, others have their, their platforms. What's your angle on, on big data? What's the role of HP storage in, in big data? Yeah, so for specific for, uh, for store all, we are designing a system that is very scalable, right? Start very small and it scales out to 1,000 nodes, 16 petabytes, and for a lot of customers that are still doing, they're still ingesting data via NAS, right? NFS and SIFS, that hasn't changed you know, fundamentally. People are going to make the shift to object over time, but there's still a lot of NAS data right out there. Hmm. Um, so what we're doing is enabling customers to be able to scale up to billions of files you know, in the solution, but we're helping them harness that, right? So we have this fantastic new technology called Express Query, right? Where we're taking the best of scale out NAS, combining that with new database technologies developed by HP Labs, similar to NoSQL, so very thin, uh, lightweight, scalable database that allow you to autonomically you know, tag your data, right, metadata, and then you can actually add your own custom schemas on top of that. You can search, you can use it for ETL, you can use it for generic you know, IT storage resource management use cases. It's an open API, scriptable, so we're hoping that you know, that's going to help customers significantly for folks that are, have a lot of unstructured data. So let's talk about the competition. So you got EMC made a you know, huge acquisition of uh, Isilon, $2 billion acquisition, growing very rapidly. Correct. Um, NetApp is, uh, well EMC's also got VNX, the Solera part of VNX. Yep. You got NetApp who is the, you know, the king of file. I mean they sort of invented the, the first major, you know, Auspects I guess was a little bit before them, but yep. you, know, you know the history, everybody knows the history there. You had Hitachi acquired Blue Arc, so obviously a lot of, a lot of plays going on there. How do you guys differentiate with uh, that competition? Uh, some of the ways we're differentiating is, um, so we have some really fantastic things afforded to us by being HP, you know, a portfolio company. So we can make these fantastic platforms like Store All based on very dense bladed architectures, very dense JBODs, awesome virtual connect networking. All that infrastructure, same thing you'd use for standing up a tier one application. You're, but you're using it for scale out NAS and scale out object storage. So we have that, we're bringing that to the table. And then by taking this uh, Express Query technology and embedding a file, a database, scale out database in the file system, it's not standby, it's totally synced up, it comes with a solution, it's embedded, it's actually part of the, the purchase price, so we don't charge a la carte for this. So all this uh, fantastic feature is up front, you get it with the system, no hidden charges, uh, and it's, uh, it's a fantastic story for the customers. Okay, and um, so let's see, uh, availability, I mean it's here today, you can yep. buy it now? Yep, absolutely. Same thing with Express yep, Query? GAs, I think uh, December 20th, so we're taking orders, and uh, yep, it's all, all GA technology. Now I want to change topics a little bit. You and I are from uh, Massachusetts. Uh, we were talking uh, last night actually about the Mass Technology Leadership Council, something I used to be heavily involved in yep. and started doing the cube. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but, um, but so, talk about HP's involvement there. I know you stepped up and said, hey, we want to, we want to sponsor this. Yep. Uh, we know Tom Hopcroft, you know, great, great guy. And the Mass TLC, for those of you who don't know, it used to be called the Mass Software Council. It, evolved into the Mass Technology Leadership Council and really is an advocate for companies in the area, supported by these companies, and does a lot in you know, the government, it's, a, it's an advocate from that standpoint, uh, uh, helping entrepreneurs get off the ground, yep. VCs love it, lawyers love it, because they're you know, lead gen machines. Yeah, absolutely. But, uh, and now you guys, you, you actually personally saw the opportunity to participate more. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so uh, you know, as a resident of Massachusetts and live in Charlestown myself, um, I saw that you know, we've got a, quite a few people in the Massachusetts, New Hampshire area, right? Did you say Charlestown? Charlestown, <laughs> the townie. Um, and uh, so we've got about two, over 2,000 folks who work for HP in the Mass area, right? So we want to make sure that everyone knows that, that this is a place to work and, and be part of some fantastic innovation. And um, you know, there's been a lot of big data uh, projects and press lately with the governor, with MIT, you know, lots of corporate Hack Reduce, the whole Hack Reduce stuff that you guys yeah, are involved with the in. Chris Lynch's deal there. Yeah, and, uh, so there's a huge opportunity there for HP and we want to be part of that. Um, for me as a hiring manager, you know, I want HP in the forefront for people that are making decisions coming out of school, right, looking to further their career and for us it was a, it was a no brainer. Okay, so there's a big data uh, uh, conference coming up. Now when is that? That's uh, Yeah, so we're doing a round table, um, actually Vertica, right, so Colin Mahoney, I think, was yeah. you know, came on here. Um, 
We're doing a, uh, we have a new office in the Alewife area. Yeah, I've been in there. Cambridge. It's, it's yeah, great. It's, it's cool. One, 150 Park, right? Yeah, ping pong, foosball, free <laughs> soda. It's Good awesome. view. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing a, um, from 8 to 10 on December 13th uh, in the morning, we're doing a big data round table. And then uh, later on in the, in the new year, we're going to do a big data, uh, big data conference that HP is going to sponsor. Awesome, all right. Yeah. So hopefully, I can't be there next week, but uh, hopefully the one uh, next year I can be at. Yeah. And uh, we'll Come see on you out. there. My man Jeff Kelly as well. So, uh, all right, Patrick Osborne, thanks very much for taking your time. Yeah, I appreciate the, the time. Thanks so much. Great to see you. Yeah. All right, keep it right there, everybody. We'll be right back with a wrap up after this. This is theCUBE, we're live from HP Discover.